Hi mate, have you been diagnosed with shoulder impingement? Or you just get a pain in the front of your shoulder but you don't know what to do? Well, today we're gonna to go through what shoulder impingement is and what you can do to help get relief and get back into the gym so you can keep on making gains. Let's check it out. Hi mate, this is Adam and I help you return to the gym and stay there. So today we're talking about that buzzword shoulder impingement, okay? There's a few different types of shoulder impingement. You can get anterior, lateral, or posterior. So we're not gonna go too in depth um, into each of those, but the main thing that we're gonna be focusing on today is the, the first one, which is anterior shoulder impingement. And does impingement isn't really a diagnosis, it's really just a buzzword or just a catch-all word for a you know, shoulder injury or issue. Anterior shoulder impingement usually just means that you've just got shoulder pain in the front of your shoulder, okay? So what does impingement actually mean? If you're impinging on something, it usually means that you're squashing or you're creating less space in there. So if I've got space in a joint here and I'm trying to move that joint, but I bring those joints closer together and they end up squashing, you would say that they're impinging on each other. So they're just squashing each other or there's less space in that joint um, than usual. So what we're going to kick off with, with the first one is, if you've got the pinchingness in the front of the, the, the shoulder, we're actually gonna show you a great way to, you know, uh, do a test and a retest to see if what I'm going to show you today is actually working or not. So I'll just go on my knees so you can see my arm go overhead, okay? So with the first test, what we wanna do is we're going to have our thumb here and we're gonna internally rotate that in towards our chest, okay? Or thumb goes down towards the floor. And what we're going to do is raise that up uh, to our head as far as we can. And we're just gonna see if we get a bit of a pinch, we get of a soreness. And I, I personally struggle with this shoulder impingement. I've got, um, when I go to the very top, I get a little bit of a pinch in the front there that I'm dealing with, which has got a whole lot better. But some of you might have a point where you actually go up here and your pain might actually show up quite early, or you might feel like there's just a huge blockage, right? But then if you go the other way, you might find that it's actually no pain or not as much pain or you've actually got more freedom of movement. If you're finding that if you roll your hand up over like that and then you raise that up and, and you find that, oh, I'm getting real stuck here and you feel a bit of a stretch in the lat, that's probably a lat issue. That's something I can show you in another video. The other reason why you could be getting a pain in the front of the shoulder or impingement is that you're quite rounded or you're quite tight in the front here or you're tight in the back. In other words, you might be falling to this position where you're quite rounded and when you raise up, your, sh your arm just gets jammed in the shoulder because your back is getting in the way or your musculature in the front is getting in the way. Okay, so if you find that um, your back is quite round and you can't open that thoracic spine, just make sure to click on the video up in, in the corner there on how to release your thoracic spine, okay? And that, that'll help you out the most. So there are your two tests. You're going to test before you try these out and then after you're gonna test them out and see if they improve. Okay, so if you're getting a bit of pain in the front of the shoulder when you're doing your bench pressing or shoulder pressing and whatnot, this is the first one that we're going to help out with you because what it's going to do is usually a lot of the time why we get that shoulder impingement is because the shoulder, it comes forward in the socket and you start to get a little bit of pain in there. What this attempts to do is push that shoulder back into the socket so there's less impinging or squashing in the front of the shoulder so there's less pain in there. So basically we're just trying to drive that with force back in the socket so it can glide a bit easier and feel a bit better too. All right, so what we do is you're gonna get a real thick band like I've got here. You're gonna wrap it into the front of the shoulder like so, like here. Get a bit of traction on there. And we're just gonna try a few different moves, okay? The thing is, when you get into this, you might feel like once you start to do certain positions, like maybe roll the shoulder forward, that you actually feel like the pain is already gone away or it feels easy to move. And you're gonna be bringing that forward and then bringing that back, okay? Bring that forward and bring that back, okay? You can also try your overhead stuff. Bring the shoulder overhead like that. So bring that overhead like so. 
Good. And then the other way, you can bring that arm here and you're gonna roll that forward and then bring that shoulder back. Roll that forward, bring that shoulder back, like so. So I'll show you what that looks like from the side here. So you're gonna be rolling that forward, bring that back, like forward, bring that back, like so. And the last one, what you'll do is you'll try just an internal external rotation um, at a 90 degree angle. So you can go here. And what you're doing is going into external rotation and then internal rotation here. So what you might find is you'll be able to get more, a lot more internal rotation than if you didn't have the band before. So this is a good, good indicator that this is probably the thing that's going to help you out. So going internal and external rotation, just greasing the wheels, getting that shoulder to move how it's supposed to in that posterior cuff, okay? So you can do a couple of rounds of that, see if it helps you out. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add on two extra exercises to stabilize your shoulder, okay? So we're just gonna grab a band. So where have I got my bands? Okay, got it over here. All right. So the next one is if you're, you know, if your shoulder's coming forward, most likely you're having a bit of trouble with stabilizing those shoulders, okay? So a great way to do that, especially if you're having trouble with bench press, is to work on your external rotation, okay? So the way we do this one is have your palms up like that. You're gonna gently squeeze here. And we're not gonna bump out, pump out the reps, okay, and whatnot. The definition of stability is to resist external force. So that means being able to hold a position there and not it, let it flick back in, okay? So the idea of this, you've all seen this one before, I want you to shrug all the way up here where you might normally wanna do it, and then you're gonna shrug all the way down, bring the chest up just a little bit, and you're gonna bring that out, hold it for five to 10 seconds, like so and then slowly bring back out. If you're finding that you do like, you're quite trappy or you're quite rounded like so, wanna make sure that you shrug up in between reps, shrug up and then shrug all the way down and then pulling that out there, okay? And where you should be feeling that is in around in that mid back, um, just all in that back area here or even in your lats a little bit too, okay? We don't want anything going on in the front there. We don't want the anterior shoulder kicking in, your front delts or your chest or anything silly like that or your neck, okay? It all, it's all about getting the back working and all about those shoulder muscles that we don't, we tend to forget to use when we're on the computer and whatnot, okay? So that's gonna help you restore a bit of stability in those shoulders, okay? The next one is putting it all together, okay? So what we need to do for that is we just gotta get a band, right? So, so what we do is we just get a band like this, okay? And you're gonna get a bench, okay? And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna practice our bench press on the bench with this band. So we've done those external rotations, we've um, worked our external rotators or stability muscles in our shoulders, and we're going to put that together in something that's a bit more meaningful to, to, meaningful to our body, which is bench press, right? Or something that we normally get pain in, okay? So what we wanna do is, what we're doing here is we're working on the motor pattern, okay? So what we're working on is actually external rotation and pushing and pulling, okay? So if we add a bit more stability while we're doing this, hopefully that'll help with you know less pinchiness, less, less chance of the shoulder going forward because we're gonna be holding this nice big chest position as we're pushing and pressing, okay? So the way we do that is you're gonna get on the bench like so. So you're just doing it like how you'd normally do your bench press. So you're gonna press out here, squeezing your knuckles like that, big chest. I want you to shrug up, shrug down, get those shoulders into a good position, pulling out, and then gonna to count to three. One, two, three, and then pause at the bottom. One, two, three. All the time, just pushing these, um, your wrists out into the band, and then pressing up. One, two, three. And you're gonna, what you should feel is as you go down and up, is you're feeling the back of your shoulders, or sorry, the lats, Right under here is you start getting a good burn, okay? So you're gonna pull down, count to three, really squeeze those hands, and then pressing up nice and slowly like so, okay? 
So the whole idea of that is we're getting the back of those shoulders working while we do something like bench press. So you'd run through that, you know, two or three times, maybe spend a bit more time on the, um, with the band for the shoulder impingement if you've got a bit of pain. Do these first two exercises and then try doing your bench press. But really when you're focusing on the bench press, what you want to think about is breaking that bar as you pull it down so that we're getting the back, getting those lats working and keeping those shoulders rather than in a forward position, in a more back and big chest position. That's it from me guys. I hope this really helps with your shoulder pain. I know it can be a total pain in the ass, but run through those exercises and I'm sure you'll be getting back in the gym quicker than ever before, okay? If you're finding that you're going in and out of the gym with shoulder pain and it just keeps coming back, well, I've got a little great guide for you. The seven lifts to bulletproof your body after injury. So you can click on that link down below and download that right away. Otherwise, thanks so much for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe down below. It really helps me out. Thanks so much for watching. My name's Adam and I help you return to the gym and stay there.